Hello everyone, let's test if this is working here before I flip the camera around. It's always tricky when you go from one thing to the other. Well, it looked like... Oh. Here we go. Okay, that seemed to work there. Here we go. It looked like we're on. I see all is here. Well, had a little challenge here to start it, but we got it. You know what? I want to close the curtain. I feel people are watching there for some reason. So are, are we ready to roll with this? I think we are. Um, just want to check one more thing here. I think it's all good. Perfect. Awesome. So if it's the first time you join us, this is the first live event on a Friday night. I don't think we ever done a, a Friday night live before. It's just happened that's not the night we choose. So tonight it is the night. Um, if it's the first time, this is different than a regular video. It's going to go an hour plus. Uh, I don't think I ever finish in an hour except once. So um, tonight we're going to do 12 cards, and the 12 cards, it's made with one sheet of designer Siri paper for the embellishment, I should say, because we get the card base. So it's called a One Sheet Wonder. That's where the name comes from, One Sheet Wonder. And also, we're going to make this uh, lovely uh, purse here that um, my envelope fell down because my cards are not in. It's going to fit the regular size cards, or it's going to uh, fit the um, uh, note cards. We're doing six note cards, six regular size cards. So I'm going to share with you in this paper. It's share with you, love, love what you do. See what's on my, do I have some Canadian here? Must have some Canadian. Oh, ye, oh yes, I see uh, Quebec, Canada right there. Oops, upside down. Let me turn that. This year, if you're in Canada, you know what it is. In the U.S., Smarties, it's those sour candy. Well, this is just like M&M, and I pop three little box before I get started, get my energy here. This is my favorite of all. When, when I went at Christmas, I bought myself a little uh, thing because I wanted to do something with that for Easter for the kid, and I'm like, heck no, I'm going to keep it for me. Well, I had to give up the sweet for a while, but tonight... I decided that I was eating sweets again. So uh, they're just tiny. So these are the best. So if you all from the U.S. go to Canada, try this. It is like the M&M's, but the candy on top, it got the crunch in it. Mm, the chocolate, it's awesome. Yummy. That's my favorite candy, chocolate, whatever in Canada. Okay, I was going to get the paper. So tonight we're using a Share With You Love paper, and I thought when I decided to um, do this class, I thought that uh, I knew that we were having this promotion uh, for this month. Well, I thought we could buy a la carte. Well, we can't. So to get the paper, you're going to have to buy the bundle, I Want It All, or you can uh, wait in June and get just the paper if that's the case. Uh, when you log into my store, you can go at frenchystamps.com and click shop online and share what you love promotion. Click on that. You're going to see it's got a lot. You get ink pad, paper, envelopes, a uh, stamp set we're going to use tonight. I mean, it's awesome. Plus, you can get the ink color to now. Uh, it's a promotion for that, the bundle. So it's three different bundle, but the bundle that include the designer seal paper, it's I want it all. So um, I... The purse, I use one thing, and tonight we're going to use this one, but I want to bring to your attention before we get started. So you see uh, this one here that I'm moving my finger? That would not be a wise choice for the purse. And why would it not be a wise choice for the purse? It is because you see it go all in one direction. And with the purse, you need like a pattern that it's mixed, that it's not just one direction, because this would be one side and then it fold. because it's just one piece of paper. It's no mounted in between or nothing. 
and then the other side. So this side would be, your flowers would be upside down if you choose a pattern like this. So pay attention when you pick your pattern. So tonight I use this one here. All that paper, it is to die for. It's not a regular designer series paper. It's a specialty paper that it's like cardstock. It's this, the weight of a cardstock. So that's why it make it so, oops, I'm off camera, so lovely. So uh, tonight instead of that print, I thought this print would be pretty because I know my uh, helper, on the other hand, it's Holly with a H. Holly, it's answering the question. So it's the first time joining. Uh, you're going to see Holly uh, typing a lot. She's the one that helped me at all my live events. Thank you, Holly. And um, she loved purple. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to keep it uh, in her tone. And you can see when I move that, you can see the shiny there. It's all got that... Um, that uh, it's like metallic on top. It is gorgeous paper. So this paper, it's not a regular paper. You get four sheets of each of them. So it's a big pack of paper. Um, I want to say a 24. One second. Does it say how many sheet on this? Yes, 24 sheet. And it's all like the cardstock. And you get awesome, awesome prints. So that was the one. And we're using this one for all the cards here. And then, and the two side too. And then here's a, another print, and you see all the shiny. And here's the stripe. And of course, you get the two sides. And usually, it's always one side that I really, really love, and the other side, I don't even care for it. This time, it's a side that I really, really love, and the other side, I, I love. So... It is awesome paper, and it, it's a heavy paper, so you will not regret buying this paper. Trust me, you're going to be able to do a lot with it, and so on. Also, with, um, I got a hostess coat that I'm looking for it here. I don't want to get my paper dirty. The hostess coat for tonight with an order of $40, you're going to get the PDF file the pattern to make the purse, uh, the all the direction to make the cards we're going to make. And in your PDF file, you don't have just cut here, cut there. You get your all of that. You get the pattern and so on, the diagram, how to cut your paper, score your paper, and so on. So I spend a little bit more time on that um, the, uh, the PDF file. What's a PDF file? It's a project download file that I send in an email with qualify order. If it's your order, it's over 150. Do not enter the hostess code and you're going to get all the perk of this month. So to get what I'm showing tonight, it's an order of $40. Here is the hostess code. CB 6 7 D 6 DH. Again, the number is CB67, uh, no, 7, 60D6DH. I'm sure Ollie already got it up there. And if not, if you, after the live event, you, you thought you didn't want it, but by the time we're done, you want it, just hop on my blog at FrenchyStamps.com, and it's right there. FrenchyStamps with the S.com. Okay, now I bet many of you saw already my customer appreciation. Every month I get a customer appreciation. Well, if you're wondering how you can get tonight plus my customer appreciation, because this month it's an outstanding customer appreciation. It's always good, but this month I think it's outstanding. Well, this month it's a um, uh, six masculine card with the passport pal, Tina May. Three and I make three and it's all about masculine card and I think we rock this one very good um, this is one this is another one and this is another one oops oops this way and plus the three of Tina they're awesome PDF file so that's included and also this month I spent many hours uh, making the color swatch and the color swatch it's not printed from the computer it's every color that you see on the swatch it is cardstock so you're seeing the true color 
Well, that it's fifty dollars. So fifty, and it's one more here. Here we go. So you get all your colors, and what I like about that, you can bring it closer and move it around and see how oh, this yellow it's close to this yellow or this red and so on. So it's an awesome tool to have in your craft room. Well, that's fifty dollars for the customer appreciations. Well, fifty and forty make nineties, right? So if you spend eighty dollars and you enter tonight's Ostuds code, you will get all the shebang. You're going to get the PDF file of tonight, the Passport Pal PDF, and um, also uh, you're going to get the color swatch. This deal and next weekend. So it end on, um, I think I put the 12th. So the 12th, it's over. So you have to make your decision, and that's the deal. So let me bring you... I feel like talk a miles a minute. That's my job, right? I'm going to bring you down, and we're going to get this party rolling. So let's bring this down, down, up, and down. And need to go up a little bit more. Here we go. And we are starting with the cards. So, and again, all the measurement, it's all in the PDF file, all of it. So I'm going to go by my uh, cheat sheet over here. So we're going to start, and this is going to make 12 cards, okay? And uh, I would like this a little bit even higher. Okay, so um, we're going to start, we're going to cut at three. Three and three quarter. And that leaves us at five and a quarter, if I did that correct. Yes. Now we're going to take the piece of five and a quarter here. You're going to turn that around. You're going to cut that at four. Cut at four. Cut at one. Cut at half inch. Well, I'm going to have to come here. And the one at the half inch, you have to remove a quarter inch, okay? That's the only waste in all the paper. Voila! This is what we're wasting. That is it, my friend. Okay, so now I'm going to put that there. Now, um, okay, uh, that leaves me at two and a half. Turn this around. I'm going to go at four. Uh, no. Yep. At four. And now it leaves me with a piece two and a half by one and a quarter. Two and a half by one and a quarter. That is correct. Okay. Push that there. Now I'm going to take the piece that it's three and three quarter wide. Now this one you have to pay attention and I should have cut my paper on the other way it's still gonna work we're gonna cut at um, one and a half okay cut one two you need to keep it in order okay two Three, four, five, make sure one, two, three, four, five, and six. And on top, it needs to stay in order, okay? And that's leave you with three and three quarter by three. That is correct. Now we're going to bring back this strip of three inch here and we're going to flip it this way. We're going to go at four and a half and four and a half. And then we're going to go at one and a half 
and that should be one and a half also. Yes, now we got all our cardstock cut, ready to roll. Let's start with a giveaway. Last time I waited long, so if you want to share my broadcast, that would be awesome, and tell us that you share or where you're from or comment, and Ollie will buzz me. And the winner is going to have a pack of Petal Garden Designer Series paper. Now I can bring you down a bit because you're too high. And that don't work when you're too high a bit. Let me uh, figure this thing out. Here we go. So you're going to win the background a bit and the Petal Garden. And then I'm going to have another drawing at the end. When it comes to um, live YouTube, you need to represent to uh be a part of the winning uh, game so soon that this broadcast is done you have to email me at frenchie stamps at hotmail.com and say i'm one of the lucky winner and then i will put that in the mail for you tomorrow so just leave a comment and so on and that's going to work out and now here we go Here we go. I want it to follow as you guys do. Okay, now we get one move away. Now let's start our cards. And I prepare everything. Let's hope that everything's going to go as planned here. Uh, I'm going to move the note card for the end. So what you're going to need, it's three pieces of Whisper White cardstock, okay? Three pieces of them. Cut right in half, that's going to give you the six regular card. Now we're going to start with uh, the one that I said you have to keep in order. And you see, mine, I did it the other way. I started my paper with the other way, so all my cards going to be a different direction. But that should be okay if I did... Oh, this one's going to work perfect because I put it there. Okay, that's going to work. Some of them are going to have to fiddle around. So that's good. You're going to see both directions. Oops, not that pile. So that is the reason why you need to keep those in order. Because if you don't keep that in order, you know what's going to happen? Your picture won't match, okay? So the way that I like to do this, it's uh, I like to do both ends first. And I put about oh, maybe a quarter inch on the side here. It seems if I do the second one, then the third one, it's always way out of proportion. But whatever that worked for you, no, I don't measure nothing that would involve a ruler. I got a ruler right here, but I never measure. I just eyeball it and go with the flow. Here we go. Oh, am I froze there? Nope, I'm good. Here we go. So now I get this done. Now I get that beautiful um, satin, the shiny black ribbon. We're going to do a faux knot. So I just take a finger. And you're going to ask me how much uh, ribbon I use. I don't know. It's all, I didn't even measure today. I just whip it, uh, cut it. I bet I get too long. But in your PDF file, I did put the measurement. Okay, now because I'm going this way, oops, it should be this way. It's still going to go good this way. I'm going to put that right there. Oh, I got way too long of ribbon, but that's okay. I know where I can buy more, but I don't like too much in the back of this though. And every time that I use a ribbon on a card, I like to put another piece of tape or glue on top of the ribbon. Now we're going to put that right here. Smack that right there. And, and then I'm going to share another little tip with you. When you do bows like that, you see sometimes it's kind of loose. Just take a glue dot. 
lift this up, put it in the bag, and secure it. And you see my knot, it's flat, it's very friendly to a uh, male. So now see the difference? It's still awesome, one way or the other, right? Because this way it kind of looked funny sideways, so now I got it. So I just started my paper different direction, that's it. So we got one done. Now let's go the other one. We got another one similar to that there. Let me check. Here it is. So now this one, it's the same thing, but our paper is going to go uh, the other direction. So let's mount that together. One, two, three. Oops. Did I move that by mistake here? I sure did. Here we go. So you see how important it is to keep that in order? If not, they wouldn't go together, right? So now let's mount that together. So I'm, I'm kind of glad that I cut it on the wrong side because I didn't think about it when I started, you know, one side or the other. So, um, so just look at your pattern, which way you want to start. Here we go. And I'm sure Ollie gonna buzz me soon if she didn't already. Kathy K, you are the winner, Kathy K. When we are done, if you want to email me your mailing address and I will put that in the mail. So Kathy K. Oh, you saw what I did? Well, this one's going to be different. That's okay. I put the glue on the wrong side. It's just going to give a different look. It's never wrong, my friend. You just say, well, it's going to work. You know what? It's just give character. And you know what? I think it looked kind of uh, good. So we're going to keep it that way. I could have erased the glue that would involve time. It's good this way. Now I'm using the tank. The stamps that I'm using, that's one of part of the bundle. Love what you do. Uh, I think you're gonna love this stamp set. I love this. I it's a great set. You will see by the time we're done tonight. I think that stamping up design that very lovely. Now I get the thank you from that set. I'm going to stamp that right here, boom, and then um, inside the card, the, oops, oh my goodness, um, I'm going to stamp, it has to be on the long way, I'm going to stamp this flower here, like that, and I'm going to use some uh, Wink of Stella. And if you do your Wink of Stella right when you're done stamping, do you see that it's blending the color? It's still going to blend if you wait longer, but it won't blend as uh, bright. So you see now my petals are pink. I don't know if you can see that. All my petals are pinkish. So that's what it's nice about Wink of Stella. It bleed the... Let me push it. It bleed a little bit the color and it's kind of nice. Now I'm just going to cut that here, do a little bit right in the center and then you go on each side. I know some people like to use a square punch for that. I just like to eyeball this. Cut right in the center and then meet your center. It make it very quick and easy. Here we go. Now let's mount that on top. And I'm just going to glue this. And put that right there. And voila! Now we get, here we go, the difference. 
I think they're both lovely. I really like that to bring that paper out. So here's another one. Now let's go with this. This here. Well, see, I prepare some stuff in advance. Okay, this one here, my friend. You see, I get another piece of cardstock, another piece of cardstock inside. You know why? Because I dropped my ink pad after I was done. So that it's not necessary to have a 10 pound card inside like this. The only reason why I done that, like I said, I dropped, smashed my ink pad right on top of it when it was done. This one here, it's kind of a belly band. It's like under there. See, is that cool or what? Looking here if I get here we go. I was looking at message. So I'm gonna share with you how to do that. So let me grab a piece of paper back here. And now it's gonna to have to go sideways. Just because that's the way it's gonna be. So my flower is gonna go sideways. That's okay. We we're gonna say it's okay, right? So what i done, I pre-cut my circle. I think that's one and three quarter out of this because it's no use to take another piece of black uh, cardstock while this is going to go on top of it, right? So we're going to take this. And also in your PDF file, it gives you all the size of the DSP. This is the piece you have to use, this and that, blah, 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 and so on. We take this, put that at the top here. Little tiny border. Take more adhesive. Here we go. And then the happy birthday though. The happy birthday don't come from this set. I use, because I wanted some happy birthday cards doing that, so I use the Southern Serenade. So uh, if I get some thank you, it come from there, or happy birthday, it come from there. And that it's in the occasion catalog. Southern Serenade. And that's going to go flat. So, and I stamp that with pool party. The uh, flowers in that, I use this flowers here. I stamp that in pool party and the happy birthday in black. Now you're gonna use the mini dimensional. And this is crucial here. What you wanna do, it's just at the top and just at the bottom. Nothing in the center, nothing on the side. Why? Because this is your, your thing that's gonna keep it um, close down here. See, it's sliding there. So, this is the top there. So, I put my finger there. Make sure that I don't go below that. Okay. And then the bottom. Boom and boom. Now, we're going to remove this. But first, I want to do the belly band. Well, not the belly band because it don't go all around. Okay, I'm going to leave that aside for now. Uh, this here measure eight and a half by one. And what you want to do, it's put the glue just in the back here. And just leave a tiny little bit off there so it's going to bend better. Put that straight, as straight as you can. Now, the trick to it, it's leave it flat. I don't want to score it in advance. The reason why, if I score it in advance, it seems I'm always off one eighth of an inch, one sixteen, and it don't close good. So that's why I like to glue it first. And two, when you score, you almost need a double score because the thickness of the cardstock, then you put it flat, go there, and again. So you get like two score. Then you can take this here, put that straight, now, I use a tiny little strip when I was cutting for the backing of the cards there. This is Rich Razzleberry. 
I use it's is it half inch or a quarter inch it is uh, a quarter inch I don't know why I was thinking half inch. a quarter inch and that here we're just going to use a little strip of this I didn't trim it neither the reason why sometimes it's just a little bit off so the best thing it's where this is open leave that that's going to be the end go right at the edge here well, you want the glue to go right at the edge because if not, it's going to lift up. So I'm going to go right here, right at the edge. Bring this down. And then take this in the back, always in the back, and cut. Voila. That is it. See how simple that was? Now, okay, we got our sticky there. And we sure this is straight here okay happy birthday right at the bottom there and right at the top we don't have much uh, wiggle in that et voila my friend what do you think of that and then it open it open et voila you got it that's another one now we got another belly band someplace. Oops. So here is another belly band. And this one, it's a little bit different. Not much, but a little bit different. And again, our paper been cut differently. So we're going to make it work. It has to go a long way because I pre stand my flower in there. So let me bring this paper here. You know what? They don't look that bad sideways, though, because this one, see, it's going up. You know what? It's not bad. So this one, it's two and a quarter of the circle that I punch. And this is the uh, classic label, I think. The label something that I pre-cut. And again, I took that out of my layers. So now we're going to take this. I should add my silicone mat here reason why I think the silicone mat when you get opening like that if not this is just paper here so it would uh, oops it would stuck right on my table so then with silicone mat it's going to peel right off those little darn thing in the back of the dimensional and they be annoying sometimes they stick to everything but I think my vacuum would be lost without them though my vacuum thing is a treat you know Okay, do I want this one? Yes, I want that coming down. Okay, now let's mount that. I think we're doing good. It's just 801 and we got four cards done so far, all cut. I think we're doing good. I talk a lot at the beginning, but you know what? That is me, my friend. I like to chit chat a little bit. Okay, again, you're going to bring this, and this one, it's one and a quarter. The other one was one inch. This one, it's one and one quarter. That, I remember that. Some stuff, I don't remember the size, but this, I do remember. Make sure this is straight. And again, hold this here. Did I stamp this? I didn't stamp this. So we're going to stamp a little bit of stamping. I want to grab a piece of scrap paper here. Okay, so uh, what I was saying about the glue, you're going to take your, I'm looking, I don't think it's still on the, here, I'm going to use this one. And we're going to use Pool Party. And do our here we go. And we're gonna use rich razzleberry. And we're gonna put I'm lucky to have a friend like you. I'm lucky that all of you spend Friday night with me. Here we go. Smack that right here. 
et voila. And I just ring my ink pen, so it is very dark, but it's gonna light up as it dries. We're gonna mount that right here. Keep it that way for now. Now we're gonna take our label here, and again, the tiny, tiny little dimensional, and only at each end. When I mean right at the end, you don't want it show on the side, but put it right as much as you can as on the side, because you see, you don't have much wiggle room here, okay? Let's remove this. And keep this closed so we know where it goes. Okay, pretty good. Now I get the enamel dot here. And uh, I'm almost uh, out of the rich razzle berries. So we're going to use the more light in the clear here. This one here. So I'm going to put one there, one there. I always like to do both end first, just like the card, and then go in the center. I think it makes it a lot, oops, a lot easier to line those puppy up. Here we go. Now that is done. Now I see this is one of bulk up here. So what I'm going to do, bring that here, really score this. Here we go. Now, this year, don't put the glue on this because it's a good chance you're going to put the glue on this and it's going to glue your card. You don't want that, right? So uh, what you want to do, it's right here and right there. And then put your greeting right in the center. Voila. And now you open it up. Et voila. How cool is that? So that... Um, uh, thing there that's what uh, keep your card uh, close here see so one on one side one on the other side I could always put it that way too I could have switched that put it that way but my flower was stamped I think it still looked good here we go now here is the next one okay this one here that one I really want to have my foam mat okay and we're going to start with the background. That's one of the stamps that I really like in this one. It's sometimes you just need something, you know, a background. So I'm going to stamp that right here. Voila. And then I'm going to use the memento black. And we're going to stamp the flower. I should have my cleaner here. I can see I'm going to have a mess soon. Now cleaning my stamp. Here we go. I don't know if this is clean. Yes. Now we're going to stamp our um, in basic black. And then I'm going to use the filler, what I call the filler. We got two sides. We get the tiny, tiny little size right here. And I use the big one for this, okay? And that we're going to use Rich Razzleberry. And I just ran my stamp, so it's going to be dark. But I, I'm going to stamp off. Oops, it was not all in. I'm going to stamp off once and then stamp, stamp, and huff on it and stamp. Oh, that one can have another one. I'll stamp off. Et voila, my friend. So now you get that. Uh, might as well clean that. I'm going to use, uh, I'm lucky to have a friend that happened that it was the same than the last one. And I'm going to put that right at the bottom here. Voila. And then, oh, do I have to do something inside? It's already done. I just stamp the flower. I just match everything from outside to inside. Now we're going to stick the strip. That was the five and a quarter. And rich raspberry again. I'm going to take this. What? Here we 
So. So are you liking that so far? See? Another one done. Another one bite the dust. Okay, now here, stamp inside again and let's make sure I'm picking the right one. This was this one. Okay, this should go the other way, but um, that one, I don't, oh, I know which one I can do. I think that's the one inch, one and a quarter. So you're going to take one and a quarter, and I'm going to take right in the flower right here. No, I'm going to take right here. Mm. You know what? No. I'm going to come right here. Mm. So it depends the way you cut the paper. So I, you know what? I'm just going to come here. Right here. It's going to be right at the edge. And that is okay. Okay, and I cut from this paper. Now let's mount that. Where's my little dude that I like? This thing here. I get a piece of the ribbon again, and we're going to do a knot. Oh, you know what? Let me back up the bus here. So what I do, I take my ribbon, take a finger, wrap around my finger, do one loop, and again, do another loop. And when you tie it, don't tie it so tight, so it's going to slide right off. And then you get the very perfect flat bow. Now I'm going to take this. And I, I was cutting very happy today. I can tell I was not economic on my ribbon. Usually that takes less ribbon, you know. But I was just a happy camper today cutting my ribbon. And the circle that's there, I'm going to have my knot on the other side. You should always balance that. I mean, that's, that's a power word, right? Never, always. We shouldn't use those words, I think. We should. Uh, we, it, it look better, here we go, if we balance our embellishment, put it that way. Is that a better word? It look better if. Okay. Oh, this way. Here. Now again my bow. Voila. And then this gonna go flat. And I'm gonna offset it just a little bit so it look the way it should be. And then dimensional. This time I can use a big dimensional here. You know what? I'm gonna use two just to and so when you mail it, it don't crunch down on one side. Here we go. Oh, that should see I'm matching my flower up there. That's called spotlight. Here we go. How about that, my friend? So now we're all done with the uh, regular size card. And what I done on my envelope. I just stamp all my envelopes with the flowers to match the... If you spend that much time making cards, you might as well do the flowers too. Now let's do these. 
And then I'm going to bring my stamp set again. And that's with the pool party. And I need, it's a beautiful wig. It sure is. It's a beautiful wig. Don't you wish I could sing? Hmm, that would be interesting. A live event in French she could sing. Oh my goodness, I would entertain you. Here we go. I assume all it's going good because all it's not buzzing me. So um, I assume all is good. I'm checking here a bit. Spotlight was lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this I'm going to smack that right here. And then we're going to take, uh, I don't know if I need that one again. I'm going to take the same thing again. If I can find my flowers, here they are. And it's a beautiful day. Where is where? Here it is. And boom, voila. And again, I thought that I had stamped the other one of that. because I would have just stamped one in front of you because I'm going direct. It's going to be dark, okay? See how dark it is? Here we go. I just wanted a dark flower for some reason. And... Oh, not that. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. I absolutely love the font in um, this set. I don't like when it's just regular typing, or I love it when it's got different fonts like that. Okay, now we should have a skinny, skinny one. The skinny, skinny, skinny one that's this here. So here is the skinny, skinny one. And we're going to put that right here. And if that happens, see, it's a smidge, smidge too long. Turn that in the back, always from the back. And voila. Here we go. How about that? Now, go to the next one. This one I use this side of the paper. And I pre-cut my stamps, and I didn't stamp yet, so let's bring a piece of scrap paper. We're going to smack that there, oops. And then we need Calypso, Calypso. And we're going to use Calypso. Really, it's four colors. I got basic black or memento ink. Um, I got Calypso, Pool Party, and Daffodil, or oh, not Daffodil, what was I thinking? And Rich Razzle Berry. That is it. Very, very little uh, stamps, I mean, and so on. Very little for this. Wash, washy, washy, washy. And we're going to bring this like it. Hmm. Okay, that's it. So, we got, so this one, did I stamp the inside? It's going to be sideways because it has to be go this way for the words. No choice. That's pretty too. But I wanted to show you both sides, so that would have been a pretty side. It's all pretty, though. I like both of it. I like the writing. If you ask me what it say, I don't have a clue, though. Maybe it says something bad. Melty floor, spectrous, official I don't have maritima. I don't have a clue. I don't know if it's English. I wouldn't know if it's English. I know it's not French. Maybe it's Spanish. Maybe it's English. Maybe it's... Uh, uh, I don't know another language because now we're global. I don't have a clue, my friend. Rosentifolia. Uh, I don't have a clue. So maybe I'm sending something that it's not appropriate. That's 
That's okay. I'm going to say I didn't know what you'd say. I have a clue. But it's a pretty writing. That's what I know. And then we're going to put this in the bottom. And like always, I like to add more glue in the back of my ribbon. And well, I don't have nothing, so it's okay. What was I thinking? I didn't stamp inside of this. It's all good. It was the other one. It's perfect. My goodness, it's a reason why I didn't stamp first. Uh, scrap paper. Because it's going to be shorter. Put that right there. And then we're going to use a Calypso. Sweet Calypso. No, it's Calypso Corral. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I did not because I barely hear them. The frogs are out. And they're, they're rough over to me. I love it. Maybe, you know what? Once again. Maybe you guys can hear them. They make me so happy. They beyond make me happy. Somebody been crafting for 20 years, somebody been crafting for 50 years. My goodness. And I craft lots in a day though. There we go. Put that sideways a bit. And this and this one I see I'm going to need to bring my little magic here. Take a piece of Go, voila, there, and here's the other one. See, I know some people with a panic cutting the other way, but you, you can make it work, my friend. Very simple. So here's another one down the road. Here's the next one. Oh, we, we're doing good time because the purse, it's like boom, done. Okay, now I have to admit, I did another boo boo. Uh, when I stamp my happy birthday, I put it upside down. So what do you do when you do that? You cover it up with a circle and so on. This time, happy birthday, it's stamped the correct way, so I didn't have to do the circle. So when you do mistake like I do all the time, don't panic. I think we so harsh on ourselves when it comes to stuff like this. Just go with the flow and say, you know what, it's okay. And if it's very bad, always sit, sit. send it to your in-law. And it's going to go sideways because, oh, maybe I can, yeah, because that's the way it is because I got my happy birthday uh, done. And we're going to mount that on top. Then I get a little strip, it's half inch by um, like three and a quarter, I think. And we're going to put that right here. And we're going to take those beautiful enamel dots that I absolutely love, love, and that it's while supplies last. And I say, stock up. I, I absolutely love those enamel dots. Number one, they're pretty. Number two, they're flat enough that they're friendly in the mail. Like the pearls are much rounded and the round stone, oops, round stone are much thicker. This is almost flat. So they are very friendly in the mail. And the mail is getting more and more picky. 
So this year it's very lovely. Another thing you can do is put the, the same size of your card that you're mailing, like when you get embellishment, emboss it with something and put it on top of that, like if you get old cardstock, and that's going to protect it. If, <coughs> if voila, my friend. There we go. Yeah, plan on it when you make a mistake. Absolutely. Okay, now here is a little trick here, guys. This is the two little piece. Now, the last piece at the end of all, when you cut, this piece here, because that's one top of this, right? Yeah. Okay, this piece, that's the last piece of all when you cut whatever. It, it measured one and a quarter by two and a half. Here's the trick to this. You're going to need, well, I want it this way, and that won't go really. So we're going to use the flowers. You're going to do it on one side, like this, because you're going to need two of them, okay? One, and then we're going to cut the other one. Because I cut my paper differently, now I will not be able to... Uh, Cut the words because they would be sideways. See? It's still going to look okay though. You know what? I'm still doing it this way. And remember that little tiny piece we wasted and this. That is it. That's it. Okay. Now let's go uh, work this up here. So here's my phone. I'm going to stamp my background and the pool party. You see one side it's smaller, one side it's fatter. The smaller side it's, at, I like the fatter side on the right side, put it that way. Here we go. And then what did I put? It's a beautiful Beautiful day. Won't you be my neighbor? And you don't hear the frog. There. I wish I can find a way for you guys to hear the frog because they're they're really going wild. Turn the volume up. Maybe you will. They're lovely. Yes, put that right at the edge. And the, the other one, I put it in between the two paper. It doesn't matter, really. Well, I guess it's going to matter. I'm going to have to do more here again. There we go. And then inside... Stamp just the little flowers this time. Right here. Et voila. How simple that is, right? Very, very simple. And again, this one, oh, I did the wink of Stella again. So let me whip that up. So you just pew. And see how my, I don't know how much you can see in the camera, but my flowers are very pinkish. It's because it makes the wake of Stella bleed the ink. And that is normal. It's not damaged. See? Okay. Voila. And then the next one. And I don't want to, well, you 
you know what I'm gonna use this side because the writing sideway here I don't know about it but one thing that I want to point out though I stamp my flowers on top of this and wink, use the wink of Stella I stamp on top of my designer series paper okay there it is And this one I'm going to do like the other one, though, that I should have put in between. So if you want to put that in between, I'm going to use this side again just because uh, I'm using the other side. Put that right there. Now I'm going to put a little bit more glue there. Put that on top. Voila. And then put oh, this shut down. I think there was so was tired. They stop. Oh, maybe there. There we go again. Here we go. Et voilà my oops. Another bling bling. There we go. There's my little scissors in this mess. Where oh where? Well, it's always interesting the stuff that move away that you had a minute ago. Right, and that right there. What up? See, not a batch. One more, no, two more cards. No, one more cards. Oh, my goodness, one more cards, and we're done. In the purse, it's blink and it's done. So, um, this one here again, I stamped the happy birthday from a uh, southern uh, serenity. Whatever Southern Seren Serenade. Southern Serenade. Here we go. That I stamp the happy birthday. I punch out my old again. And and we use all the paper. All boom 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 done. Put that right here. And this year, um, you the, uh, you know the pattern of the designer series paper one sheet wonder that we call. You can use that with many other sheet of designer series paper also. So it's something that you can use over and over to use your designer series paper you, with one sheet of uh, designer series paper, twelve by twelve. You're gonna get twelve cards, six note cards. Oops, six note cards, and then. Oh, that blew all over six note cards and six regular size a uh, card so and the note cards come with the envelopes if i didn't mention that yet it come with the envelopes and it come pre-score also so um you can use that with many different um you know pattern of uh, designer series paper so it's something that's gonna it's a pdf file i think you can use over and over and over and put that right there if voila another one done so now we've done all the cards now let's go to the purse okay i think i need to push you push 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 you up 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 baby here we go uh okay we're gonna start i know i got a piece of white paper in my junk here here we go and um Decide that you want your purse. You guys are cockeyed a bit. That's okay. Decide that you want your purse going to need to face down. Okay, that make it easier to score. So put that down. Take a piece of wax paper. And why the wax paper? It make your stylus roll better. Some people say, well, it's, um, you can uh, pass your, you know what, guys? I know you guys won't mind. Ten minutes more or five minutes more. Let me remove this stamp set so I'm going to have more space to work, okay? And I think if my life is better, your life is better. It's just the same saying that if my mind's happy, everybody's happy. If my mind's grumpy, everybody is grumpy in the household. So just hold on a tiny little bit. And then I'm going to have a clean spot to work, and it's going to be much better, my friend. So you guys can chit-chat a little bit. Huh? 
talk about the beautiful weather. If you have beautiful weather, if you don't have beautiful weather, think of something that is pretty. What I'm saying, let's share something positive. Okay, I'm going to put my stamp set away. Here we go. So then I'm going to have all this vlog removed from my area, and then I'm going to have a lot more space to work for you all. Oops, there we go. It's come some time, you know, you have to stop what you're doing and pick up a little bit, because if not, you're... You're drowning in your mess. And that's what I was doing. Oops, I'm missing one stamp. And here it is. Here we go. Here we go, my friend. Now I got much, much, much more space to work. There we go. That makes you happy. So now if I'm happy, you're all happy. Okay. Back to business. Okay, I did my uh, wax there. Now, this is 12 by 12. And you're going to need the whole sheet. It's no cutting on this. So don't blink, because if you blink, you're going to miss the purse, okay? So you're going to score at, um, and it's no pattern, so it doesn't matter which way you're going. You're going to score at 2 and 3 quarter. And... When it's a heavy card stuff like that, I use I like to use the fine one. If it's the delicate uh, DSP, I do the fat one. And then I'm gonna go at nine and a quarter. You're gonna turn this around, and you're gonna uh, go at four and a half. And you're gonna go at seven and a half. Now you're going to take a pen and you're going to mark at one and three quarter. And then you're going to go mark at six. And then you're going to mark at ten and a quarter. Turn this around and repeat the same measurement. Do you remember? Well, I'm going to tell you again. It's one and three quarter. Six and then a ten and a quarter, and again, all that it's all in your PDF file, my friend. Now, let me remove this. Now, you're going to need a ruler, and you're going to need the stylus. I don't know what I need it, mm. and what you're going to do. Okay, let's uh, just reinforce this here a bit so it's going to be easier. This is going to be a, oh, did I miss some? This is going to be hard to see in the camera, but you're going to get the jig of it, okay? So uh, wherever that I mark, okay, right here at one and three quarter, you're going to take your stylus, first take your ruler, Put it right there, right at the thing, and then where it mount there, where those two mount the first four and this one, you're gonna bring that your your ruler there, bring that there and score. And you see, I give a good push. Now at the six, you're gonna bring that right there back in the in the. Same corner there. Six sits there and go there. So we're ma making mountain valley, mountain valley, okay? Turn this around. Put that there and there. Score. Right at the corner. Try to keep that in the corner. And then we're yet at ten and a quarter again, right? So you see the corner, it's right here. And right Okay, let's turn this around. Let's do the same thing. Hmm. Did I mark the wrong side there? I don't 
ones. Oh, I see my six. Oh, I see it. You want to take a pen because that's going to be inside. You want to take a pen that you can see. Here we go. Oops. I went a little bit too far there. That was not my corner. Make sure you're in the corner. So there it's there and there. Here we go. I'm going to make it worship. And then six and the corner it's right here right there and six and then turn it around look where your corner is right here and this was there and then ten and a quarter here and where's my corner right here it's better you look for your corner and then your mark I think that worked better. Okay, now what you're gonna do is we're gonna start reinforcing and do our. Uh... Okay, I'm just doing the flat. Um... Look at those pins, just like a bug. Okay, now you're gonna take this. Okay, where's my, I, I have a cheap sample here, so before I start getting wrong. Okay, so now um, this here, going to write your corner. This is your first score. You're going to take this. I'm trying to feel where it was my score. Here we go. Bring that up. See? And then push it down. Can you see that? That was where your score. So now just make sure you get a flat corner there. I'm going to bring this back in and really push it. If you were off a bit, you can fix it like this. Just off just a little bit and I'm going to make it work. Here we go. And then... So your score was just a guidance. Here we go. Now do the other corner the same way. So lift this up here. Take the point here and bring that up. Before I was not even scoring the first one, but I figured now if you score it, it's much easier. Bring it right at the corner there. And remember, you can always rewind and rewatch. The link is going to be in the PDF file. Here we go. So now I got this side done. Now this here, the this one where we score in the center, this is going to be bring in. So this, this way, and then this way. See? Now we can bring this like this, hold it, and then like this. And fold it. So now you see when you're going to get this, it's closed perfectly. Let, let's do the other side. So we're going to take this. Now you, you fold it down, okay? You're going to take your corner. Now I'm lost again. Why do I do that? Here, this is your line right here of your score, okay? Take this, put your finger right at the edge so it's more easier. Bring it right at the edge here, right there. Now, it's already kind of a pre-score there, so you're just really reinforcing this. Like this. Now, you're going to take this one, bring it up. Put your finger right at the corner so it stays straight. Bring that right at the edge here, right there. Push it down and reinforce where your score was. 
Now, this one to get pushed in where you see your center, it's right there. Go like this, those two points should meet, and then just reinforce this here. And then reinforce this. Voila! Now, we should have our first. See? Okay, to make it life a little bit easier, I've done these many times without any glue, but I find out with, when it's heavy like this, put right here, right there, right at the edge to your score line and the top. And if you want, you can put some right at the edge here. And before you close it, though, you want to do the other side because it's hard to put um, adhesive after that you already start you know, folding it down. Now you can close it. Close it. And now see. And then if you want, you can have those two blue there and those two blue there. So what you would do, it's just snip a bit there, snip a bit there. And right at the score line, and then bring this up, bring this up, bring this up, and bring this up. How about that, my friends? You get your perfect purse. Now, you're going to take two pieces of six and a half, and I think I put six and a four. No, I cut it right. Six and a half, and you're going to score that right in the center. I'm just going to grab this here because I put my board away. So you're going to put this at one. Score this. And then you're going to fold this in two and really reinforce. And the trick is, you see, reinforce that very lovely. Now what you're going to do is... Uh, I like tumble for this just in case if I make a mistake I can move it around so oops I think this is empty here no it's still soft so put your glue and um, I like tumble for this part just because if I'm not oops right on my table I can move it a little bit, you know, it gives me the chance to move it. Well, if I use tear and tape, oosh, oosh, I just say oosh. Uh, if I use tear and tape or uh, fast fuse, then after it's down, it's down. Okay, now I'm going to put that right in the top. See, now I can push it. Here we go. Push, push, push. Really... I think the word I'm looking for, it's burnish, burnish, burnish. Really, oh, I can glue my fingers. Oh, where's my BB wipe? Don't have no more BBs, but when you're a crafter, you still need your, your those BB wipe around. Okay. Okay, now push it down here. Very important that you really make a good bond out of this now let's do the same thing for the other side mother's day gift yes it can and the end of the year school teachers gift can be your bff uh i mean so many things and let me tell you this paper if you choose to get this paper you gonna love it and i mean love it take this Right there, see I'm off, so then you can slide it. That's what it's not, okay. Don't put the glue on the thing. That's why I like the tumble, so you get a chance to work it before it's bond. Now I'm going to push it down. There we go. Okay, now we're going to use steering tape. And the handle are eight and a half long, no, 11 long by one inch. Take your bone folder 
and go the other way. And that's going to cut, uh, cut, that's going to break the fiber in your paper and it's going to make life easier for your handle. You don't want to do it too much, then it starts separating also. So keep that in mind. I'm going to use the tear and tape. And here's it's the trick. Don't do what I do what I say, not what I do. So you want it on the same side, okay? Because look, it's going to twist, okay? So put it, because first, I don't know why. I had put one on one side, one on the other side, because I thought when I twist it, but no. So you're going to put it right at the edge, right at the edge, not above, not below, right at the edge. Right here. And let's remove this. you know what I need to put my uh, we're gonna put it right at the edge twist it twisty twisty before we keep on going though I need to do the, the little embellishment and I know I brought the it's here don't panic it's here I got it but I cannot find my filter I know I brought it here you know what the beauty of a crafter always get oh I see it I was ready to go get some so I just use the fine fine uh, uh, velcro I get some magnet powerful magnet I always seem to have a hard time to bond it so I decide velcro was easier for me so I this is just a fine one I mean they're very uh, not thick the Velcro and I just going to do a little strip and you don't need big this and then okay Ollie I'm laughing Ollie got a trick for uh, okay the the part that it's more rough need to be at the top so that's what's going to be on this oh this is dirty that's okay, we're going to make it work. That's going to be the part that's going to be the edge. Okay, stay there. Oh, let's stay there. We need to fold this in half. And this is the decorated label punch. Again, it was a carryover from the holiday, and it will be in the big catalog. It's still available. It's in the back of the occasion catalog. So this side is dirty. So we're going to take this. Okay, this here, I think I want a little bit. No, that's going to be good. Okay. I'm going to put that right there. Okay, this I know that I don't measure often, but for this one here, I will measure just because I want it in the center. Six and a half, that's going to be three and five. Three and a half, no, three and a half, it's seven, three, it's six, uh, three and a quarter. I, don't listen to what I, I said. Three and a quarter, it's right there. So it's about right there. I kind of measure, right? I just know about where to eyeball it. Here we go. Now you get your thing. Remove this. Close this. Make sure it's straight on each side. Bring this here. Close. Squeeze. 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 And then, here we go. So the soft part go at the bottom, and this that's going to make it easier to open and close when you pull the, um, whatever, the Velcro. Okay. Now let's do the other handle. It's easier if you do that. Okay, let's make sure I put that on the right side. Yes. Uh, it's easier if you put that before you put both handle for some reason. 
I'm sure it's possible and it would be still easy. It's just I find it easier to do it this way. And also, guys, do you know that you can join my team? Get $125 of product, only pay $99, and it's shipped to you for free. But you can get all the new color, not just the in color. You can get like uh, island, whatever, heather, and uh, min macaron, and all those new colors. You can choose that in your starter kit. If you wonder how, just go at frenchystamps.com and I get the question and answer there. And also, you can choose like the stamp set I used yesterday, uh, Enjoy Life nature uh, the rooted nature you get a bunch of stuff that it's not available to customer yet but it's available to demonstrator and you can pick from that voila my friend is that cute that is flipping cute if you ask me and now top it all off let's bring our cards so i would love for you to join so i just want to put a few of this here Okay, let's do this one, a few envelopes. I would, you know, put it in, in between and so on. Put this. So it doesn't matter which one or the other. Put it in the back there. Take this. Make sure. Oh, you have to put it equally on one side, one on the other side, because this needs to shut in the center here. Like this. And voila, my friend, you get your cards and all set to go for a gift. How pretty is that? Somebody agree with me. Tina, agree with me. Flipping cute. I say so, too. I think this is awesome. So see, both, both papers, see how pretty it is? And they are big. I mean, see my hand? We can go shopping with that, girls absolutely we can go shopping i think that's a designer frenchy designer purse boom big box okay let me talk to you a little bit i'm having too much fun tonight here we go so i'm gonna repeat and we're gonna have another winner so don't you run away i see that you were ready to click bye bye you're going to miss if you're not present, you're not winning. Holly, you can buzz me another winner. So if you are not live, because right after we're done, I'm waiting just a little bit. And if you guys don't claim your prize, too bad, because the prize is going to be in the mail tomorrow. So it need to be, uh, we need to be present. So that's how I know if you're in or not, because if you're not in, you won't email me. So you need to be present for uh, which different color? With different color, yes. I'm not sure what you were asking, uh, Cheryl, but it's all the same paper. Do what you love. See how pretty it is? It is so cute, so cute, so cute. Okay, the hostess code, it's CB6TD6DH. With an order of $40, you're going to get the pattern. You're going to get the pattern like this for the cards, the purse. You're going to get the recording. You're going to get all what I use, the color ink, and so on. You're going to get that. Now, if you want to crank it up a notch and get the customer appreciation for the month, that's $50. Well, $80, I'm going to give you both. But you need to order the hostess food of tonight. Plus, you're going to get the swatch card. And the swatch card, this is not a printout, my friend. I glue every little bit of that. So you're going to get the true colors of the cardstock. Because sometimes it's tricky in the catalog. So you're going to get all that. Yeah, oh, Ollie put the hostess code there. And also, if you miss the hostess code, just go at frenchystamps.com. I'm very impressed. It is uh, 9 o'clock, so 7.30, 8.30, an hour and a half, and we made 12 cards, and we made the purse, and I chit-chat a lot with you. So I'm very impressed, an hour and a half. That's very good. 
So I guess that is, oh, I have to announce the winner. Let's check if Ollie buzzed me. Oops, I was ready to go. So the winner is going to win the background bits with the Petal Garden uh, Designer Series paper. And I think it just buzzed when I pick up the phone. Marlene Nichol Nichols in Florida. Last name Marlene, it's N-I-C-H-O-L-L-S. So Marlene and then Kathy, you both won each uh, a pack of paper and a, a stamp set. Email me at frenchiestamps.com. Email me tonight with your mailing address and this will be in the mail tomorrow. Thank you so much to all that joined me. Oh, when's the next live? The next live is going to be a walk through the catalog, and that's going to be June uh, 2nd at uh, 9 a.m. Mountain Time. It's going to be 9 or 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Maybe I'm going to push it back a bit, but it's going to be June 2nd, Saturday morning. And every time I do my walk through the catalog, I share lots of tips that people absolutely love. I get new, um, it's on my blog, the old one, it's on my blog, Out Tap Your Catalog. You see mine, it's all tap. This year, I came with a new design for the tap that I absolutely love more. I'm going to explain that also. Uh, I'm going to uh, share all the bundles and so on. So I hope you can join me. Mark your calendar. Uh, June 2nd, put 9 a.m. question mark, 10 a.m. I'm debating, so I bet I'm going to go in the middle. 9.30 a.m. You know what? It's set. 9.30 a.m. June 2nd, it's going to be my walkthrough of the new catalog. So, hope you can join me then. Thank you so much again. It, I'm telling you, this paper, it's awesome. And so, till next time, happy stamping, and we will see you soon. Again, I pop in live once a week now on YouTube, so uh, watch for me. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I top where you see the little ding, ding, ding bell, you get a click on that to get notified. So then when I'm live, you're going to get notified. So that's it for me. Have a lovely weekend, my friend. I'm going to go sit outside a little bit and listen to my frog. Just unwind a little bit. Bye-bye for now.